What I have set up here is a benchtop polyelectrolyte membrane electrolyzer. It's made in Germany. I'll put the company's website in the uh, footage to accompany the video. And uh, what we're seeing here is electrolysis of water into the gases hydrogen. Hydrogen is being produced on this side, about 4 volt input. And over here, molecular oxygen. And uh, there's a polyelectrolyte membrane inside this unit. And right now we're inputting energy from this adapter. Accompanying the unit is a solar panel. And on the campus's greenhouse, I'll, uh, inside the greenhouse, I'll set this up so students can see the direct input of solar energy and conversion into uh, the gases, hydrogen and oxygen, which of course have recombined, uh, would produce under controlled conditions uh, useful uh, energy for work. Um, I teach a course, Intro to Biofuels. This is an excellent textbook edited by Professor Minter. And the use of stationary polyelectrolyte uh, fuel cells electrolyte membranes, fuel, stationary fuel cells, uh, particularly to be run with methanol fuel with the generation of electricity. To a lesser extent, ethanol, and people in the field know that uh, the ethanol can poison the catalyst typically used, platinum or palladium, in the electrolyte membranes. And uh, if they can get the ethanol to be utilized, that would uh, that would, of course, uh, allow production of electricity from a renewable fuel. This is a very good unit, very useful. Sometimes I'll put it away for six months, and I can set it up literally in one or two minutes. And be certain to use distilled water here. If you use tap water with ions, you will destroy the membrane in there very quickly. And. Uh, I've actually generated the hydrogen gas and used it to carry out bench scale catalytic hydrogenations of uh, so-called alkenes on saturated hydrocarbons. A practical little demo, but uh, holds up pretty good.